Hi, my name is Aaron from TheRuggerStore.com. Welcome back to our series about barcode scanning with tough books and tough pads. Perhaps you just watched our video about the CF20 and the optional barcode scanner that can come with it. You heard the term image type barcode scanner and you're interested in the differences between that and a laser type barcode scanner. We wanted to make a video just kind of showing the differences between the two and some of the pros and cons of each. So let's jump right into it with the laser type barcode scanner because that's the older of the two. The technology has been around since the early 1980s. And in really simple layman's terms, the way it works is it projects a laser across the entire width of the barcode, bounces that laser back to the unit, and it's it translated into information, usually just a string of numbers and characters. Now, some of the pros of this is, first and foremost, low cost. It's lower cost than the image type uh, barcode scanner. Also, because the technology has been around since the early 1980s, a lot of the kinks have been worked out. It's a very stable technology. Also, because it's an older technology, there's a lot of universal recognition. That 1D barcode has very limited and simple data, usually, like I said, just a string of numbers. And if you remember our video about 1D versus 2D barcodes, that 1D barcode is just that standard picket style fence with the vertical lines on that barcode. Like I said, just a string of numbers and characters usually used for a UPC code. Now, as I said, that's been around for a while, so a lot of different countries and companies that go across international business utilize that 1D barcode to impart information on their products because it will be translated the same if it was in America or North American continent as opposed to the Asian continent. So there's a lot of universal recognition. Um, the, another pro of that, the barcodes that it utilizes, those 1D barcodes, are easy to scan and easy to decode. There's not a whole lot of processing power. Uh, needed so that translates into really quick barcode scan times and also the fact that it can scan at l greater distances than the image type barcode scanner. Uh, some of the cons and the biggest con to the laser type bar barcode scanner is that it can only scan 1D barcodes for the, for, for the most part. Those 1D barcodes are very limited in their data that they can impart. So, and they also, the only way you can increase that data, as we talked about in our video about the different types of 1D versus 2D, the only way you can increase the data is you increase the size of the label. So the laser scanner is limited in how much data it can impart into the unit. Uh, let's jump into the image type barcode scanner and that type of barcode scanner is utilized by the CF20 barcode scanner. It's the image type scanner. It's the more, uh, it's the newer type of technology. Uh, so that comes with a few cons. One that it's a little more expensive, and it's not as widely known. There's a lot more different uh, symbologies or languages, so there's not as much universal recognition. Uh, but the basic way of how it works is it uses camera-based technology. It takes an actual image of the barcode and then it runs it through an internal processor to break it down and translate that into data. Now the pros for this is that it can utilize 1D or 2D barcodes. So not just the picket style fence barcode but those uh, different like QR codes where you see the vertical and the horizontal dots and dashes making up a grid and this can have infinitely more data. They can pack a lot more data into that label or, or barcode and take up a lot less space on the um, unit, or I'm sorry, the product. Uh, it can also scan partially obstructed or twisted barcodes so that it doesn't have to be straight on, doesn't have to have as much accuracy as that laser type scanner. It takes the image and it can, it can kind of formulate what it's missing through that processor because it in utilizes an internal processor. Uh, it can scan, as I said, a lot larger range of symbologies, but some of the cons, as I already mentioned, has a higher cost, uh, slower decode time because it's processing more data, obviously, and, but both of these cons are diminishing as the image type barcode scanner technology gets advanced and more people, more manufacturers are making type, those types of scanners. One final big difference between the laser scanner and the image type scanner is that the image type scanner can pick up a barcode off a screen. And so this has a lot of different uses that are translatable instantly into modern day technology or retail. Say if someone has a coupon on their smartphone and they bring it up to the point of sale, they can scan it right off the, the smartphone. Or if you have a airline ticket confirmation, the airline can scan that barcode right off the smartphone or LCD screen without having to print that barcode scanner out. So hopefully this kind of trans, or imparted a little bit of information that might be useful to you in determining the difference between an image type barcode scanner and a laser type barcode scanner and which would work for you. 
If you have any questions or if you're interested more in about barcode scanning with Tough Books and Tough Pads, be sure to check, off, check back often as we're trying to grow this series as we hear about frequently asked questions. Thanks, and we'll see you at theruggestore.com. Bye-bye.